head on over to Amazon and buy your copy of Trauma Bonded, a true story of navigating attachments forged in complex PTSD by me, Sarah Westbrook. So I really like this next concept. I'll get and off my... We kind of talked about it a little bit, um, but I want to address it here just because of what I wrote and because of what he writes. When pride has a hold on our hearts, we lose our independence of the world and deliver our freedoms to the bondage of men's judgment. And what I wrote here is we can either be a slave to God or to man. No other option, it seems, God... No other option, it seems... God requires strict obedience for salvation. Man takes our freedom because without God, we can't possibly stay out of addictive and enslaving tendencies and habits. And it's just this idea, you know, the the church religion wants to put forth this idea that you are free because you're following God's will, but I can't decide what happens to my money. I can't mm-hmm. decide what I eat and drink, what I wear, what I don't eat or drink. I can't decide what I wear. I can't decide what I do on well, Sunday. I can't can. decide if I'm going to go to the temple. Not, of course, I can. You can but not and stay in favor but with then, God. Right, but then it's problematic. I right. so yeah, I agree. Great point. God casts me off if I don't do those right. things. God is going to so. get mad at me. Yeah, because I had a family member recently tell me that they needed me to stand on their front porch because if I came inside their home with my coffee, this spirit would leave their home right right and i yeah i was just like uh that makes absolutely no sense and i get it i've been there i get why (laughs) it happens but yeah it's just so ridiculous this next one similar concept but specifically something else disobedience is essentially a prideful power struggle against someone in authority over us you said prideful disobedience uh disobedience is essentially a prideful power struggle against someone in authority over us. Yeah, I feel like this talk is obey church leadership, and if you don't, you have too much pride. Right, and what I wrote is black and white. Mm -hmm. And then the question, if someone has authority over you, it should not be fought against? Like Or questioned. Right, you're asking for sheep. You're asking asking for blind obedience. You're asking for people to just do what you say, and that's not okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So Mason, when you read this talk closer to when it was officially given or on your mission, you loved it. Mm -hmm. So what's changed? Okay. We need Alex to add in some cricket noises for these (laughs) pausing (laughs) moments where you're thinking. That's very helpful. Very helpful. Uh... (laughs) 